another theory which though is not in the syllabus of uh, JE mains so completely I can say this is not in JE mains for sure right but still I'm doing it because uh, in which set you might get uh, these kind of uh, problems so it says number of ways to divide n identical so this formula is first of all for n identical objects and into r groups such that each group gets 0 or more so the answer is you have to remember this n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 this is when it is 0 or more that means each here some groups can be empty groups can be empty that's not a problem right they could be empty also when you say that groups cannot be empty that means each should have at least one they should not be empty so then the answer will become n minus 1 c r minus 1 just remember this this is just a formula I'll just show you how you'd apply this in the problem so you will get comfortable okay mind it that these formulas are valid when you are dividing n identical items not distinct items now let's see the question it says find the number of ways in which 30 mangoes can be distributed among five people so all the mangoes are identical so first of all just understand that mangoes are identical no need to you know be given this in the exam mangoes are identical so n is equal to 30 right and how many people has to be given five any other condition that given to you so it could be that all the 30 mangoes are given to person one only this is true na? right there are five people so it is not sure it is not given that how many is the minimum value that should be given to each one of them so i can give all the 32 person one also so the answer that you are going to use is which one just see to this the first one or the second one second one is for at least one to each item or each group no it is not given here so we'll use what yes so the formula that we are going to use is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 so how do we apply this is 30 plus 5 minus 1 c yes 5 minus 1 this is 30 c4 this is the answer we are looking for and this is how you solve these kind of questions let's do more of this right this is something very beautiful and they are asked in some various forms so for example this is the category of questions which are asked find the total number of non-negative integral solutions so what do you mean by non-negative first of all non-negative means 0 1 2 3 this is the meaning of non-negative right so that means whole numbers we are talking about so never start non-negative from 1 0 is a non-negative number right so we'll start from 0 so you want values of x1 x2 x3 and x4 which belong to your whole numbers right or let's say i write here which belong to whole numbers and also they satisfy that their sum is nothing but 100 right what is the minimum value that x1 can take min of x1 is 0 that means you are getting it now yes 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 you are you people are getting it i hope so it is actually equivalent to saying that 100 100 is what when you get 100 100 is something when one is written 100 times and all ones are identical one are identical so that means how many identical items are there with you they are 100 identical items then only you will get 100 so for this 100 items are to be divided among how many people divided among four boxes or four groups right groups are x1 x2 x3 and your x4 you need to divide them in these four groups got it such that each group can get zero or more here is the condition so what you will use again n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 that's it can you see this simple this problem was it looks like a very intimidating problem at the first but this is nothing a very simple problem so this actually is 103 c3 so this is the answer you are looking for over and if i had to change a simple very simple stuff in this question if i say find positive integral solutions positive integral so what the answer would be then for positive integral the value of x1 x2 x3 x4 will now belong to natural number natural number start from yes they start from 1 right so that means now the group cannot be group cannot be empty because at least one item should be there so if group cannot be empty what the formula would be n minus 1 c 
or minus 1. So the answer to this problem will then become 99 C3. Then this would be the answer. I hope this is getting clear to you. So now the, again the same problem, though we call them if you want to uh, get hold of uh, what is this uh, we are solving, this is called integral equation method, right? So we are doing just basic of integral equation method, though it is much more than this. So it says x plus y plus z plus w is equal to 29, right? And uh, it is also given that x is greater than 1, y is greater than 2, z is greater than 3, and w is greater than or equal to 0 right now we want to divide 29 into four groups such that this is the condition which is given to you but the conditions are very varied it is not that each group should be empty or more what you should do is try and do something of this sort for every group what do you mean by this is w group can take 0 or more this is the meaning of this particular statement and we want each group to have the same category so what we will do so let's see so we'll replace x by capital x plus 1 right so this becomes capital x is greater than 0 similarly capital y plus 2 so we are doing this just to form 0 capital z plus 3 greater than 0 this gives you capital z is 0 and if you do the substitution here it becomes c this right and for w we do not require anything right so now this question simplifies to this particular concept right where we have to subtract 6 so either you solve this or you solve this does not matter so now the question is 23 into 4 groups right where each can get 0 or more where each can take 0 or more got it 0 or more this is what is meant by it because now if you see the condition here 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 and w is already greater than 0 now we know the answer the answer is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 this is how we are going to use so the answer becomes 23 plus 4 minus 1 c 4 minus 1 so this becomes what 26 c 3 this is the answer i hope this is clear now 